Hey guys, welcome to the official channel of BD Themes LTD. This time we have prepared a new major version update of our most popular plugin for Elementor, the Element Pack Pro. This is our hardworking project that has been in the development phase for a long time now and finally, after thousands of hours of grinding the codes and base structure of the plugin by our team, we completed Element Pack Pro version 6 and are ready to launch it now. Warning. Element Pack Pro 6 is a major leap in the plugin version that contains a huge lot of works in the base code, resulting in unexpected issues that should not happen. For safety, we advise you to back up your live website first before upgrading Element Pack Pro 6 or use a staging site to onboard the new version update. We have a new improved plugin dashboard now which might lead to some complications after upgrading for the first time. Just before proceeding to upgrade, make sure to take screenshots of your current settings. After the update, go to your new Element Pack Pro dashboard and check all settings properly. In case you notice missing widgets or color issues on your page, check the Element Pack Pro dashboard if the widget is active or not. For specific color issues, go to Elementor dashboard and click on the tools section. Then click on the regenerate CSS and data button and the color issue will be solved. In case the issue still persists, we apologize for your inconveniences. As a major leap in version, some previous style settings may reset and you need to configure the colors again. Please be assured that it will not affect your site in any shape or form. Even if everything is ok after upgrading to Element Pack Pro version 6, we urge you to check each page on your website to see if anything is missing. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for cooperating with us. The Asset Manager Let's talk about the Asset Manager. For example, turn everything off and just keep these two widgets active. Now inspect the preview page and you will find that only two scripts were loaded individually for the two separate widgets. This is the by default structure of our new version update which minimizes the resource cost of your server. By default, Element Pack Pro can now load JS script for only the active widgets and extension which is a unified single file JS for all 200 plus features presented by the plugin. But you can go back to the JS minification by turning on the asset manager switcher from your dashboard. Just hit the save button and look into the local file to trace the minified JS. See, it only takes a little space to combine all the JS for the active features only. The more the number of active features, the bigger the minified JS, but not so much to have any effect on your website. The Dashboard Widget Analytics Now the Element Pack Pro dashboard will show live widget analytics on top of the main dashboard window. Here, you can see the total number of used and unused widgets, both core and third party combined and individual. Then there is separate analytics for the core widget and third party widgets. Lastly, the total number of active features are displayed. Just get into the core widgets tab and you will see a number right below each widget that shows how many times they have been used inside your website. Also, there are the used and unused widget filters on top. The same interface will be displayed in the third party widget tab too, but there would be no stat for third party widgets that are not installed and not used on your pages. The Dynamic Grid Widget First, go to your template builder by Elementor and click on the Add New button. Then select single post as the template type and give a name to start off. Then click on the create template button and start making a custom post layout. Take a featured image widget on top, then add inner section below and drag the post info widget on one part. Then goes the post title and post excerpt at the bottom. 
Finish it with an animated link below. Just changing the link text and selecting the post URL as the dynamic URL tag. Now go to the column settings to add some padding over the content area. Then set the background to white from style. Then click on the intersection settings icon and add margin over the content area to make it lift up slightly on top of the post image. Just like that. Then we can just change some font styles from typography for the title, meta, text, and link. Anything that you prefer. Then click on the update button and save the template. Now go to your target page and reload it. Then drag the dynamic grid widget inside the page and type the name of the template you just made in the select template field. Click on the template and you will see the custom post layout popping up in grids on your page along with all posts on your website. For example, go to query and use the filter option to show only target posts inside the grid and leave everything outside. Just like that you can make your very own post grid layouts and the possibilities are limitless. Dynamic Carousel Widget this is the sister part of the dynamic grid widget. The dynamic carousel widget can run any pre-made single post template designed through Elementor template builder regardless of the shape, size or features and load your local posts on the designed layout with the carousel animation style. Just by selecting a post template, can get more access to the content flow by query, navigation, etc. This widget is a bit overkill as it lets you design anything that makes sense or not into your own post block. Horizontal Scroller Widget Won't it be an exciting experience for your visitors to simply scroll on your web page and the sections pop out themselves one by one just like a regular slider until you reach the end? Just drag the widget inside your page where you already have inserted the slider sections. Now click on the add item button for the scroller to add the sections inside. But before that, go to the target section settings to put a CSS ID for it. Do the same for all three sections, each with a unique CSS ID. Now just get back to the horizontal scroller widget settings and paste the CSS ID into the section ID field. Pick three items for the three sections. Then turn on all switchers from the additional settings to add slider interface navigations on display. Be sure to turn off the label only active switcher. Now update and see the preview. Just like that you have all your section lined up like a slider on and works with just scrolling. Slinky Vertical Menu Who doesn't love smart vertical menu bars, especially the one with a slinky animation effect, just like our new menu widget that offers a dynamic menu animation over the same content area, that means you can turn on the dynamic menu switcher anytime and select your main menu to display into this cool looking vertical menu bar. It comes with a series of customizations to add more taste on the final layout. As you know, our element pack version 6 has a major update list and there's too much to talk about in just one video, so we're going to make perts and this is part 1 for element pack version 6 words new update. So thanks for watching this video, look forward for the next video coming very soon, thanks for watching, stay updated.